Hey lovelies! Whether you are hosting a fun summer shindig or simply kicking back by the pool, these five fruity cocktails are the perfect way to refresh and beat the summer heat. All five of these yummy cocktails are fresh and full of summer flavors I think you're going to adore. And today we are going to kick things off with one of the most tropical drinks out there, the Blue Hawaii. And how pretty is this drink? You won't believe though how easy it is to make. We're going to mix it up in our martini shaker. I'm going to start by adding some ice here. And then to that, I am going to start with my liqueur. So I have some blue curacao here. This is going to give us that gorgeous blue hue. Now, if you're not familiar with blue curacao, it's basically an orange flavored liqueur that is colored blue. So it gives the most pretty hue to whatever cocktail you're making it with. Next, I am going to add a splash of white rum to this. So we're gonna have that gorgeous orange flavor and some nice tropical rum flavor. For some richness and some creaminess, I've got a splash of coconut milk headed into my shaker. And then I'm going to finish this off with some amazing pineapple juice. So with everything going on in this cocktail, you just know it can't be bad. We're gonna get it in our shaker. Give it a good mix. I like to garnish this drink with some super summery fresh pineapple. Come on guys, doesn't this drink look good enough to dive into? Hawaii not. Next, nothing says summer quite like a frosty strawberry daiquiri. Now of course a strawberry daiquiri starts with some strawberries and it's such a great time for strawberries. Obviously they're beautifully in season, at least where I am. To that, I'm going to add a good splash of simple syrup. Now, if you're not familiar with simple syrup, it's basically a sugar syrup. So instead of using regular granulated sugar that would give you a sort of grainy taste in your cocktails, this is sugar in a liquid state. You can either buy it at your supermarket or make it really easily yourself. You basically just combine one part water and one part sugar in a saucepan on the stove. You whisk it until all of that sugar has been completely dissolved over medium heat. And then you can remove it from the heat, set it aside and allow it to cool. And what you end up with is this gorgeous, sweet, simple syrup, perfect for cocktails like this. Next, in terms of the liquors in this daiquiri, which you can totally leave out if you wanna keep this virgin, we are going to use two ounces of white rum and we're going to use half an ounce of triple sec. Now, if you're not familiar with triple sec, it's basically an orange flavored liqueur. Really, really tasty. It has a little bit of its own sweetness. I'm also going to be adding a nice squeeze of fresh lime to this for a bit of citrusy tartness. And finally, I am going to add a whole lot of ice to my blender. On goes my lid, we will blend this all up and this is ready to be enjoyed. This drink is gorgeous, frosty, delicious, and of course summery thanks to all those beautiful in-season strawberries. Go ahead and make a double or triple batch, guys. Trust me, everyone will thank you. Next, for another summery twist on a classic cocktail, I am making a peach mojito. Now, I've shared mojito recipes in other videos before. You guys may or may not know that it is my all-time favorite cocktail. But if you haven't tried the peach version of it, you are in for an absolute treat. This one starts with a whole lot of lime in the bottom of my glass, and to that I'm also going to add some basil leaves. Now traditionally, a mojito uses mint leaves, but because we're using peach in this drink, peach and basil are like a match made in heaven. I'm just going to break my basil into my glass like so, and then I'm going to take a muddler like this, and then just get in there and squish these together to get their flavors released. Trust me, this is a step that is absolutely worthwhile. Next, I'm going to add some ice to my glass. And instead of using white rum in this recipe, which is really classic in a mojito, I am actually using some peach schnapps. Right? I know, it's an inspired idea. In a traditional mojito, you would also add either some simple syrup or some sugar here to add a bit of sweetness, but I get to skip that step because my peach schnapps is quite sweet all on its own. Once you've got your peach schnapps in your glass, you can simply fill the rest up with some sparkling water. I like adding a few peach slices just for garnish and prettiness. And this is one seriously summery cocktail that comes together in a schnapps. Next up, I am making a super yummy tequila sunrise. Come on, what screams summer more than a sunrise? 
Now for this drink, I am using, once again, my silver tequila. If you have gold at home, that's totally fine. Go for the gold. And then I'm going to top that up with some beautiful orange juice. And finally, to create this really pretty layered sunrise effect, I am going to slowly pour in some grenadine around the edges of my glass. What's awesome about grenadine is that it's very dense, so it sinks to the bottom of the glass and you end up with this amazing effect. If you're not familiar with grenadine, it's basically a sugar syrup colored with pomegranate. So you just know it's gotta be delicious. We're gonna serve it with a maraschino cherry and a wedge of citrus. Not only is a tequila sunrise a gorgeous cocktail, it is also an amazing song by the Eagles. I will link it in the description box below so you can hear it for yourself. Definitely a must add to all your summer playlists. <laughs> Finally, lovelies, we are making a total showstopper. We have got my frozen watermelon margarita. What could be more summery than that? Obviously, come summertime, watermelon is always on the menu at my house, so I am going to pour a whole heaping helping of it right into my blender. To that, I am going to add another splash of my delicious simple syrup. I've got some silver tequila headed in here, and then I'm going to be using the juice of a full lime, because you really want that nice tartness and acidity in this drink. Finally, I'm going to load my blender up with ice, get it blended, and what you end up with is a fresh and frosty cocktail you can seriously not get enough of. Or at least I can't get enough of it. As with any margarita, I like to serve it in a beautiful margarita glass with a salted rim. A great part about this delicious margarita is if you wanna skip the alcohol entirely, you can totally turn this into a mocktail and it will still be just as refreshing. I hope you will give all five of these awesome ideas a try, guys. And if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo, because I always love seeing your kitchen creations. Keep in mind the full recipes are in the description box below, so you can take a look for them there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.